There she is. Rewind disabled. I don't even know what that means. Maru kill. Hmm, the VA for Reimu as her reflection is the same as Tohovania. Hmm. Well, I'll be damned. Let's... You mean... Wow. That's talent right there, you know. Maybe that's why the game's so expensive. <laughs> Says the voice talent. <laughs> it's, uh... We know... Well, I, I say we know, but we don't know what happened with that series after that game came out because, well, it was big. Huge, even. And then it just fizzled out and no one even knows what they're doing anymore. She must like playing Reimu. She'll, she's good Reimu. She's a good Reimu. What the hell was I doing again? Um... Uh... I beat Erica. Right. Gambling. I remembered. I remembered. Uh, let's see. I want to look at these. Modest nature. Ghost. Uh, not terrible. Actually, pretty good. Shadow punch is physically, yeah. Yeah, I should have known. Can't be evaded. So we have Merlin. She's rash. That's not terrible, actually. It's pretty good. Soundproof. I'm not going to use her. Lunas also soundproof. She's modest, which is not great because she's defensive, but it's not the worst thing in the world. Yomu is calm, which is special attack down and special defense up, which is pretty clearly not the best because her special defense is weak. Neat. Wait, what's Night Slash do? Okay, it's it's Night Slash. It is Night Slash. Yiko is naughty. Which is attack up and defense down. I think. Which doesn't look like it's in her best interest. She's slow. But she has got high HP and special attack. That makes sense for her. Ah, Layla. Reason Ghost. She's rash. That's special attack up. Special defense down. Looks She looks kind of average around the board. Interesting. Psybeam, Sing, yeah. Those are all the same. Never know when they're different. And finally, Yukari. Careful nature. Special defense up, special attack down. Uh, that's pretty good. Illusion, Metronome, Snore, and Psybeam. I mean, it's not the best, but it's not the worst. She's defensive for nature. Naughty is attack up, special defense down. Okay. Okay, yeah, that makes more sense. Okay, that Yukari is not not bad. That Yukari is not bad. Hmm. Hmm. So I have Attack Patchy, I have regular Momiji, I have regular Luna. I'm gonna have Attack Suika. I don't I don't even know what Raisin's doing right now. And I have Support Mistia. I guess I guess I could switch Luna for. I could switch Luna for Yukari, but then I'm missing wind and, and native coverage. I want to use the Yukari, yeah. Hmm. Wind native. See? Yeah, here's the thing. Luna, Luna's best stat is speed. But she seems... Comparatively to even the other units, she's not that great as an evolved. Momiji is... Momiji's looking great, by comparison. Yeah. Pretty much everything about Momiji's better. Hmm. Hmm. Ikari is slow. Yeah, I don't use- I don't use defensive mons and- and story playthroughs, because they're a pain in the ass to keep- to upkeep. Because they don't level up fast, because they take forever to do things with, so maybe I won't use her. Yeah, I don't like Yuko's nature, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna touch that. Instead, we're gonna go... I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna buy. I... Poor Yu Yu. Poor Yuko. Well, if her ability was, if her nature was better. 
How much coins do I need? Why are you even at the counter if I can't interact with you for anything? Well, that was an accident. Alright. Time to go broke. Catch another Yuko? Oh god, yeah, that's not gonna happen. That's gonna require hours of soul searching. Get it? Because she's a ghost? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Alright. Give me the red one. Yeah. Alright, what was it? Uh, Suika, Suika learns Disable at level 31, yeah? So I can evolve her now? Another one. I had one this whole time. Are you serious? I didn't know that. Where did I find that? You picked it up on the rocket hideout. For real? <laughs> oh. Well, I want to get side beam on Patchy, and then I'll evolve her. Here you go. You don't love me yet. Well, this is what I get. I- I did not realize I already had one. <laughs> Oops. Oh, looks like she's breathing fire out of her socket cord. <laughs> Attack Suika. Alright, time to stand up and fight. Let's see what you look like. There's an A next to her. She's still calm. Oh, she's part fire now. Okay, earth fire. And... Hmm. High strength, yet yeah, still. So now she's fire punch stab. Well, I'll have two fire types on the team. And then Moko will show up. She'll have three. Great! <sighs> Maybe I can't do that. No, I'll stick with Patchy up front. Patchy will learn side beam, and then I'll evolve Patchy, and then we'll have our we'll have a team of complete misfits, and then eventually Raisin will evolve, and then we'll see what Raisin does, and and then we'll retire her. Remember me, I'm a pro. You're up with 40 species. I give you a reward. Trust me, the amulet coins. Mary Bell, let me ask you, have you got a date at least 40? I have actually. I got 41 of them. It was 40 just a second ago. Hmm. If Bonica appears in a winning battle. You'll be able to earn money. Donation box. <laughs> An item to be held by a Bonica, it doubles the battle money if the holding Bonica takes part. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Alright, Patchy's gonna beg for donations now. We're going to riding together. Do you have a do you want you wanna give me something? It's the Saladon department store, which is to the right. Long path over the water. One of those binoculars shows you the seafoam islands. Which, um, will show a picture of Articuno flying into it. And I wonder what that's gonna replace with. Hmm. Game time. What do you want? It's the Moria donation box. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Because you, you, when you hold it in battle, when you hold it in battle, they see the Hawker Day box, and they pity you, so they give you more money as a result. It's a genius technique. Here we go. That's enough. That'll work. Great.
Your heart. Heart loses to... Heart loses to faith, I think. Wait, yes it does. Conversion 2. What do you mean, conversion 2? It blew up. How was I supposed to know that Hina could blow up? Oh god, what type are you now? You're an illusion type. What? Wait a minute, chat. What? 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 What, what is illusion type? What? Now what's she doing? Not weak to anything. Now she's poison type. Why is she poison type? What the fuck is going on? Pick a type and stick with it. Hina can blow because that's just the ultimate misfortune. No, but the thing about Hina is Hina collects, Hina collects misfortune, but she isn't affected by it herself. It just affects everyone around her. So. By all rights, she shouldn't be the one blowing up. I should be the one blowing up. Koishi is Porygon. I don't know what Koishi's doing. She's not attacking. She's just completely changing who she is. Hina's a real unfortunate soul. That said, nothing gets her down. Good on her. She has a she's a positive mindset. She actually runs her own store, where she sells a. Uh, she sells those dolls, I think. Something like that. But no one approaches her because if you do, then you are targeted by all kinds of misfortune that you can't even hope to understand. Shit just happens. Shion hangs out with Tenshi because Tenshi's good luck just completely out... out like, it beats out her bad luck. So Shion just hangs around and, as a yes man to Tenshi because things... Things don't go poorly for her because Tenshi's good luck cancels out her bad luck and she has- she's good. She has a good time. Apparently Dormi has a- Dormi has a shop as well. She sells pillows. Pillows in the human world. I wonder if they're good pillows. Nice bike. Hand, <laughs> hand it over. Alright. Cool. Chat, you know what's confusing? So I read, uh, I read more... I read more of Curiosities of Lotus Aria, otherwise known as Renosuke's book, until you hit chapter 28, where it becomes Renosuke's book featuring, and by featuring I mean starring, Sumereko. Man, the last chapter I read was explaining her, her urban legend, which is so fucking confusing. <laughs> For, okay, here's... Here, her, her, here's her urban legend. Her urban legend is that she she has a doppelganger, right? So there's there's three Sumerekos. There's Sumereko in the human world, the outside world. There's Sumereko doppelganger, which is the Sumereko in Gensokyo. And then there's the dream Sumereko. The dream Sumereko, your heart. You can't reason with the heart, but you can set it on fire. I'm reason. Wait, heart's effective against me. I'm out of here. Fuck that. Then there's the Dream Sumereko, and apparently the plot of Violet Detector is that the Dream Sumereko hijacks the bo physical body of the doppelganger Sumereko in the Dream World, which means that Sumereko can no longer appear in Gensokyo because her avatar, I guess for lack of a better term, is missing. And but because of that, things happen, I guess. It's the climax and endpoint of the plot of VD. Oh well, I didn't care that much anyway. Ch -ch -ch Chen. Hmm. Chen, weak to burning. Burning it shall be. Either way, what the point is, they summon, they summon the the Doremi to, to ask her what the fuck's going on. Doremi explains it, and she's like, "Well, here's how here's how thing work." Thing work like this, yes. If she, if Dream Body wins with Doppelganger and takes over, then she become real Sumereko. And if she meets the, if she meets Sumereko in the outside world, because you can't meet your Doppelganger, one of them will cease to exist. And then that one, if it's the Dream One, then the Dream One will not remember any of that nonsense, forget Gensokyo entirely, and then you'll never see her again. Period. And I was thinking to myself, good. Just, just a little bit. I was, I was silently hoping to myself that that would be the end of that, but that's not how that works. And yes, I'm a bad person for wanting that. Truly, I am. Nice crit. Great. 
Oh, what? Oh. That's some bullshit. Mason, you're up. She was almost gone, over, and done with. Are you kidding me? I better not do it again. You. <laughs> what is her ability? <laughs> That's what. I don't like Sumireko. I don't like that her character borderlines a, a self-insert power fantasy. I like Sanai. Sanai is the same scenario, a, a human from the outside world. Obviously, she's a little bit different, of course, but... Hmm. <clears throat> I got I gotta hand it to Zen, though. He, he definitely managed to... Like, he's, he's like in his 40s now or something, right? For, he's in his early 40s or something like that. It's it's pretty surprising when somebody that age can properly capture a uh, an an average teenager. Cause holy shit, he hit the nail on the head with everything about Sumereko. Everything about Sumereko just screams teenager, ordinary teenager from outside world. I give you the bits, kitty. But I don't have anything to offer for that. Hmm, hold on to that promo. The summer promo. That'll totally happen. It's the beer. Well, here's the here's the thing. Here's the okay, here's the thing. She reminds me of way too many people that went to high school. Well, the thing is she rants about how people are absorbed in their phones and how they're they they don't look at nature and enjoy nature anymore. And then and then Renoski's like, oh, so you'll give me your phone. And she's like, well, I didn't say that. It's like, oh, she's a massive hypocrite. Yup. That's a teenager, all right. She's a brat. For a second there, I thought that was a crit. That wasn't the case. I was just dead. All right. Now I'm going to punch you. There we go. Tall Suika. Flandre. I don't know what type you are, but you're probably gonna hurt me. What's interesting to me about Sunai is Sunai pretty much just went to Gensokyo because it seemed kind of it seemed cool. And when you think about that. It, it just makes you makes you wonder about what her her circumstances were, where she was perfectly okay with just completely abandoning the world that she lived in to go to Gensokyo with with uh, the the two gods, you little rat. All right, back to heal again. Cause like Sumireko visited in her dreamscape. She doesn't actually leave the outside world, but Sanai crit it's just straight up abandoned that shit. She was gone. Cause it seemed like it seemed good to her. And you know what? I can respect that. I like Sanai. But as I said, it's just you gotta wonder what kind of what kind of motivations people have to have <clears throat> to, to just abandon their entire life to start a new one like that. And her reasoning is because it seems fun. <laughs> is there a backstory for that? Like a real one? Or is there only fan stuff? Because I remember I saw a fan one for with uh, Runko and Maribel involved. That one was pretty cool. I like that one. I don't think there's anything official either. Sun does a good job of giving enough information to solidify the character, but not enough to completely like spell them out on a piece of paper, so to speak. Right? So, there are... Uh, there are a lot of things There are a lot of things that you can infer there are a lot of things you can theorize, but there's enough There's enough information on characters that you can get by with it. That's what's good about it Because nobody likes it when a 
Nope, nobody likes it when a character is solved in that sense, right? Like, obviously we want to know more about our favorite characters, but... You don't need to know everything. But the thing is, we feel like we want to know everything about them because we like them. But every time we do... There comes, there comes the problem of... My favorite. You know that, you know that Spongebob episode, chat, where... Spongebob participates in Squidward's art school? And he... he start oh, it's full on Nazarin. Squibber starts going on about the rules of art. Follow the book, follow the rules, and all that nonsense. I'm not gonna die, but that's annoying that it had that. Okay, I'm switching. Well, there's a, there's a scene in particular. When Spongebob is... Squibber was trying to get Spongebob to, like, to kind of reinvigorate his creative passion. And every time he does... Spongebob pulls up the book and goes, that's not in the book. And that's that's kind of what happens when you delve too much into a character to a point where they're pretty much, like, everything about them is solidified. They're a solved character. It means that anytime any fandom portrayal is even the slightest bit off of the canon material, somebody is going to show up and tell you about it. They're going to remind you instantly. And that's annoying. Because it kind of kills creative freedom in that sense. But on one hand, maybe that's... You could argue that's okay. Everybody has their own opinions on things. Personally, I like when certain aspects are up to interpretation because it allows fan works to be a little more lenient in what they can do. And nobody... Nobody can tell them otherwise. Actually, Letty hates Chirino. Uh, then you have examples like this right here of actual canon that most people tend to ignore because it's kind of sad when you think about it. Another example is that Momiji and, uh, and Aya do not get along, actually. They are not friends in the slightest, but you see them two paired up a lot in fan works because they showed up in the same stage. Those ones we tend to forget about because, well, it's more fun when characters interact with each other. You can have characters be, uh, you can have characters interact with each other even if they're not familiar. Like, there's another thing. If characters aren't really, like, familiar with each other and don't mesh well, it's hard to write for them. That's why Aya is such a good character in, in terms of, uh, how Toho uses her. Because she's, a she's a nosy journalist who sticks, sticks her, uh, business in everyone else's business to get information. So, a character with that kind of, uh, that kind of setup is a character that can very, very easily navigate their way into a story, into the heart of a story, and interact with any character without it seeming kind of like unnatural. Kind of like that. Part of what makes so fun is series and characterizations for the cast, but there comes a point where a character becomes so divergent that it makes you wonder why they didn't just use some else to make a new character. I, that's, yeah, actually. That's a really good set, that's a really good, it's a really good paragraph. You are correct. There are so many characters in, in, Toho lore now that if you feel the need to completely rewrite what has already existed, there's probably a better character for what you're going for. There are little quirks that you can do, uh, you can change and all that, but like, imagine imagine if you write a story f and you have Reimu as your main character, but Reimu exhibits all the personality traits of Marissa. Why don't you just make it about Marissa? Why is everything so much stronger than me? I really need to get something here. Why well, do I even want side beam? I don't know. All right, Suika, you're gonna punch her. Hmm. <clears throat> In can stuff like that, I can do good mental gymnastics. Some of the canon stuff is still kind of shaky as well. Some some bits of canon are pretty much only uh, canon by like an afterward that Zun mentioned. Which is, uh, you know, stuff that could be shaky as well. I also find that some of the things that exist in alternative facts of Eastern Utopia are hard to really... They're hard to accept as fully canon. And I know what... Here's, here's the thing about it. In essence, because it was written by Zun, it's canon. But in-universe, it's written by Aya in the style of a tabloid magazine. And the thing is... The term alternative facts is you can kind of you can kind of see the term alternative facts as you know lies exaggerations 
stuff like that. Things like that. So, I, I the validity of a lot of what is in that book is in question, and the fact that the fact that Aya herself didn't release this to the, the general public in Gensokyo probably means that she knew that a lot of what was in there was very exaggerated to a point at where it's fake news. Yeah, it's fake news. What are you- what are you good against? Heart, darkness. Heart beats darkness. Good, yes. Okay. Like, even in Curiosities, where they- Rainbow pulls up a tabloid magazine going on about fake news and the current power overseas. Like, he actually made- Zun makes references to the real world. The thing about Gensokyo, you have to remember, is that it's a fantasy world, but it's written to be parallel to our world. Our very real world. So, Things that are happening here in the real world happen in the outside world in Gensokyo. It's kind of neat when you think about it like that. The only thing that really contrasts that is Runko and Maribel, where their stories take place in a distant future where everything is... who knows what's going on there. But in the current time... Current time, Sumireko is... She's a high schooler, and she's not old enough to drink. Drinking age in... What's, what's drinking age in... Um, in Japan. Is it 21 or 18? Either way, she's a high schooler. She's probably not in her last year, so she's roughly in her- she's either in her freshman year or sophomore year. So, she's probably around the age of 16 to 17. It's 20? Okay, well, she's between the ages of 16 to 18. So, when you think about it, she's a zoomer. <laughs> God damn it! She's currently 16. She's a goddamn zoomer! Oh god, compared to her, I'm a boomer. Oh god, I can feel my back aching, my muscles creaking, my opinion of the economy surfacing. Oh, oh you damn kids! Yeah, she's really young. Mm, compared to her, you're a millennial. Ugh, there's too many names for all these fucking things. Could I just be a person? Do I- do I have to be categorized? I'm feeling hungry and mean. Hey, I'm feeling one of those things. I'm a number in an index. Fine by me. Can't wait to check out. A faceless voice on the internet. They couldn't have it any other way. I'm gonna Ember Chen. Who is Zun- Zun's favorite character? Ex- Excuse me? Why does that keep happening? Is is Chen's ability super luck? Is Chen holding scope lens? Does does Bite have a high critical hit ratio? What is going on? It's probably Aya, yes, because as I said earlier, Aya is a very easy character to to use in Toho because you can pretty much put her anywhere. And she'll fit right in. She'll fit in like a glove. She won't be awkward. So it's a fun character to write. Alright, Sanai. Sanai is Faith type. Faith loses to Reason. And something else. I don't remember though. It loses to Beast actually. Momiji's gonna bite her. Hmm. Pick up or run away are Chen's abilities. So you're saying I'm just getting crit by everything because my name is Patchouli and I... Yeah. Alright, cool. Every single battle I do, I have to run back and heal. Great. Medicine. The ball form has Limber. Shibi Chen I know had pickup because mine had that. Alright, side shot. Hmm. Zun said if he was trapped in an onsen with a, uh, a Toho, he said Rainbow Marissa. Well, yeah, because those two are humans who... Those two are humans who wouldn't attack him or do anything to him at all. <laughs> Everyone else is too dangerous. Mm. Because they're your favorite character doesn't mean you're the one you want to be trapped with somewhere with. That's true. Although, my favorite character is is good to humans, so I'm okay. 
My second favorite character, well, she's a bit dangerous. You gotta be careful with characters like that. Aside from the obvious examples of, he of other characters, Marissa is definitely the most ordinary character in the series. All of her strength just comes from hard work and training and all that good stuff. I don't think Aya would ever kill a human, right? She can't. You're not allowed in Gensokyo. You're not allowed to harm the humans that are native to Gensokyo. It's part of the rule. There have actually been times where, uh... There have been times where Tengu have quote-unquote kidnapped someone, but not actually. In a, an example is there was, an, there was a chapter in Forbidden Scrollery where uh, a big typhoon hit, but the human village wasn't really affected by it. So Kozuzu walks out of the gate, because it's not that bad, to go to, to, to head to the Hakode Shrine to pick up some books that Reimu had long overdue. She walked out of the gate and got immediately bludgeoned by the typhoon. So what happened was the Tengu picked her up and took her somewhere safe so she wouldn't die. And then they returned her like nothing happened later. And Reimu was getting real feisty. She was ready to throw hands with, with Aya. But Marissa calmed her down and pretty much went on their way. Because you can't have that kind of thing come to light, because then it's a whole can of worms you gotta open up. So the Tengu, they're known to kidnap humans, yes, but they wouldn't... The thing is, the humans are pretty much guaranteed safe in Gensokyo, but they can't know that. Because if they know that, then they no longer fear yokai. If they no longer fear yokai, yokai no longer exists, and you get the memo. Mighty proud of my body. Miss anything? Ah, I evolved Suiko, that's about it. I gambled, uh, and then I learned that I had, I secretly had a red shard this whole time, and it's, and I didn't have to buy another one, which is great. Anyway, here's, uh, this character. Hmm. She's Earth. I forget what Earth is good against. She's gonna bludgeon me with her stone, though. Oh, Bubble Beamer. Damn it. I think it was so autocratic in nature and want to rule all against Sokyo. Yep, I know. And 16. 16 had uh, a little bit to say about that, yes. It seems part of Okina's overall goal was to make note of just how strong she really is. And as a, as a result, it also acted as a warning to yokai that would try to overstep their boundaries in the power scale. Okina's pretty damn, uh, pretty damn cool when you think about it, and I'm excited to see her show up more because she's a hell of a powerful character. There's so much to her, but we haven't seen much of her. She's capable of creating yokai, like, just like that. Also, there's the fact that the, the incident in question of Toho 16, the Seasons incident, was a side effect of what Okina was originally setting out to do, which is incredibly impressive. Okina is in a bunch of the recent manga. Nice, I'll look forward to that then. Also, I learned uh, I learned something about Tenshi as well. So I thought Tenshi was the, the daughter of the like the king of heaven, but that's not true. The Hinanite clan was uh, priests that ascended. They ascended to heaven. So that's why they like they they didn't. I don't even know what she was about to send out. Fuck. They ascended to heaven from as from priesthood. They didn't achieve nirvana, or uh, they didn't achieve nirvana, or undergo the route of the hermit. They were just moved up there. So in heaven, they're regarded as bad celestials. So that might be why Tenshi's a bit of a shithead, a victim of her circumstances. But she also is pretty haughty. So there you go. Oh my god, I'm getting stomped, paralyzed, and I'm confused. Why am I confused for like seven turns? What the fuck? Come on. <clears throat> this is terrible. <laughs> Come on! I like Tenshi. I really do. Zun mentioned in Strange Craters and Outer World too that because uh because Tenshi is currently 
been banned from heaven and is just roaming around Gensokyo, there's a good chance that she'll show up, uh, she'll show up in future work. So, I would love to see Tenshi show up all over the place. Chat, there's actually, uh, there's actually a really good, uh, platformer. I have it, I forget what it's called, but I played a little bit of it before. It's, a uh, it's a platformer with Tenshi as the main character, and it's very, very competent, and it looks really good. I played, like, two or three stages of it, and I stopped. But I'll definitely gotta go back and revisit that. It's really good. It's on Steam. A lot of things are on Steam. Expression of Celestial Lullaby by God. I think that's what it is. It's really cool, because it, it uses Scarlet Weather Rhapsody, like, the weather mechanics, with her. Because the whole weather mechanic was a result of Tenshi, I believe. I believe that was what it was. Tenshi took the temperament of others and transformed it into weather. Which is why every character has a different weather associated with them. However, in the story mode, the weather doesn't actually do anything because that would be chaotic. The weather does have effects, however, in versus mode, and I am completely unaware of what they do. That effect also came into play in... Toho Pocket Wars. And every turn had a different effect to it, which was just downright terrible, because sometimes the effect was just everybody heals, fuck you. And you just can't do anything about that. That game was pretty messy. I'd play it, but it has... Well, it has some, uh, has some no-no issues about it that could, you know, I, I don't want to touch them. It's one of those games that you can do things that the Jap Japanese is like, that's fine. But the English is like, that's not fine. And I don't really want to, I don't want to dance with that devil. Takes two to tango, but, uh, got my hands full with that one. Oh, well, there's Lily Black. Again. For the billionth time. Oh my god, Patchy, really? Fine. I don't even know what type you are. There aren't many fan games with Hakatia, because Hakatia is from 15.5. Er, not 15.5. She's from 15. She's relatively new. Characters from 15, 16, and 17 are fairly, uh, fairly new, so they're not in a lot of games. I'm switching to Luna. Yeah, it's really good. I didn't finish it myself, but it, it looks good, it plays good, and you get to play as Tenshi. Who doesn't love playing as Tenshi? Chat, can you believe that there are some people who dislike Tenshi? That's crazy. I can't believe that. That keeps me up at night. Sometimes I'm just sitting there, trying to, trying to snooze off, and then immediately a thought comes to me. Somebody in this world can actually say, I dislike Tenshi and mean it. And I just have to sit there and think about it. And that's what keeps me up at night, thinking about these things. But then here I am, talking about how much I dislike Sumireko. So why people like me exist too? Yuku used to be in this grass. Oh. I don't need a Yuka. How did Yuka last time? All she did was die. Well, actually, that's not true. Sometimes she did work. Sometimes I sometimes I completely jeopardized her existence by using perfect aim and then missing, and then dying. If you want to look for Toho fan games, you just... The, the simplest answer is to, to visit your favorite shrine maiden shrine. Hmm. However, I recommend checking Steam, first and foremost. If a game's on Steam, I'll buy it on Steam to support the original developer. Obviously, sometimes you can't do that because it's too expensive for your blood, and that's that's fine. I'm not judging. But I I tend to I tend to opt to buy the games that are available on Steam right away so I can support the creator. And doing that also means that they make more money, which means in turn we get more games over here. Because there are more games released in the Japanese shops than the English ones, which kind of blows. There's this Rumiya game I wanted to check out, but it's only on Japanese uh, Switch. Looks cute. It looks cute, but I can't play it. Hmm. It's me again. Suika's gourd is now on fire. It's now a hand grenade. Dig, huh? That's annoying. Oh well, I'll live. Buy a punch! Why am I faster than you? Uh, oh well, that went too much. 
Hmm, that Bubble Bobble game that was released on Switch to get over. I thought that was coming out on English in February, but it seems like it didn't. Seems like it doesn't. I see them every now and again. And then they don't end up coming out over here, and it kind of blows. Kind of blows a lot. But oh well. We do get, we do get some. There was one that was on the Steam store. It was called Mechanical Scrollery. It's probably still there. But I had that on my wish list because it looked really cool. It was 3D and it looked pretty and I was excited. And then my wish list updated and it's like, hey, the game's out. And then I came back to it a couple days later and it's never a good sign when you see the big red thumb. The big red thumb means mostly negative, which means something was going on there. So I checked and it seems the game's having serious performance issues and it was definitely not set. It definitely wasn't in a, a uh, position to be released at that point. So I truly do hope that that is cleaned up and they make it work better, all that nonsense, and then it'll be good, and then I can check it out myself. Because there's not a lot of things on Steam. And there, there are even some things on there that aren't translated, which is turbo annoying. It's divided at the moment. Oh, well, I would, <clears throat> I would rather it be positive than divided, because since the issue is performance issues, that mean you know what that means, right, chat? It means if I try to stream it, I'm gonna have troubleshooting up the ass all over the t all over the place, and I'm not gonna be able to enjoy the game at all. Hmm. Oh, I, I have a question actually about Rosen uh, Rosen whatever the hell that one was called. I I googled it and I it's on Steam, and I bought it, but there was two of them. So I bought them in a double pack. So which one am I supposed to play first? Decision. Do I play the one that's just the title, or do I play the one with the title and then the extra title? Hmm. Fruit and Statue is the sequel. Okay, that's all I needed to know. Yeah, they're on sale, so I got both of them for like 20 bucks. They look great. I also have a couple that oh, also chat uh, I wanted to check out some some Mario Mario based Toho games, but I don't know where to start Lily. I'm pretty sure you sent me one before But I don't remember what it was called and I, I it's it's I'm not very I'm not very good with that kind of thing I have a I have the official ones that we know from uh, Twilight Frontier. I Want to check those ones out? But yeah, if there's any interesting uh, Mario World or Mario, any any form of Toho-based Mario hacks, I would love to check those out, because those are cool. Even though they aren't inherently Toho by the character, it's it's Mario and Toho World, and well, who wouldn't want to do that? Check the stash. Alright, I forgot to mention, I, I downloaded a... Uh, I downloaded a uh, Ace... I, uh, Ace Attorney 2, I got it, I checked it, it works, so you can clean out your, uh, you can clean off your box now. I keep forgetting to tell you that. I even told you I was going to leave a message saying that I downloaded it, and I completely fucking forgot. But yeah, I have that. I booted it up to see if it worked. It has the same menu theme as the first one, and the first case had a picture of Racin. And I am looking forward to that. So I'll probably do that. I'll do that whenever I get around to shoot the bullet. Which will probably be in a... It'll be, it'll be a bit. It'll be a bit. It'll be a bit. I'm not sure when. I'll probably start it before the end of May. Most likely, but I'm not gonna hold any promises, but obviously it will happen. I am looking forward to doing Shoot the Bullet, but I don't wanna... I don't wanna do too much Toho. I wanna go. The more Toho stuff I can play, the head, the better, because I like... I like the Toho stuff. It's cool. Some of the stuff gets completely underrepresented. I have a few things that Lily sent me, like, almost a year ago that I just haven't checked out, because... Well, I haven't. They're not long enough to do on their own. So I need enough of them together that I can kind of like do them all in one go, separate them like that. There's also, there's just so many, there's so many. There's one that I've found actually, there's one called Mari Ari. Mari Ari is a, it's basically Mario and Wario with Marissa and Alice. And... <clears throat> and it's translated, but there was a definitive edition that released in Japanese PS4s. And that one is available on the internet. Did you really crit me again? 
there was there was an H there was a big revamp version that released on PS4 that is available on the internet. However, it's not translated. And it's like that's the better version, but I can't read it. Did I pick a replacement for Mystery Dungeon? Ah, uh, I was gonna do Azure Reflections. That's why I did it. Uh, that's why I did it first. I want to do that first, and I can end with Toho Monk. Toho Monk's a lot more relaxing. As uh, well, actually, I take that back. <laughs> I think I take that back. I really do. But I'll do that unless I can find something else that will work better for it. I'm probably just gonna do that. So I can do about one or two runs of that game, maybe three once I start skipping the dialogue, and then I can relax with some Tohomon. Hmm. There was another one I found a long time ago, but I can't remember what it was called. It was, uh... Recent Mario and Perish Night. Okay. Okay, yeah. Okay, okay, good. Good, 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 good. Any other ones you can find? Or anyone can find? Let me know. Uh, is he gonna use Dig? Probably. Okay, okay. Got a ball. What? Alright, sure. I lost my train of thought. Shit. Right, okay, there was another- there was a puzzle platformer game. It was, uh, it- it's- had Notori in it. And I can't remember what it was called. But it looked cool. And apparently it was kind of difficult. Nitroid? I think so. I don't remember. The thing is, once upon a time I looked through a bunch of these games and I was like, Ooh, that looks cool, that looks cool, that looks cool. And then I never downloaded, like, any of them. I never tried any of them, but there's so many that looked so good. And of course I gotta try them eventually. Metroid is okay, don't enjoy that much, not as much- It's not as much of a Metroid than a puzzle game. It isn't stage-based. It looked neat. You can usually tell how good things are by how many they've been downloaded. There are some Metroidvania games that aren't translated. There's two, uh, there's two ones that are based on Scarlet Devil Mansion. So those are cool, but as I said, they're not translated, so I can't, can't tell what the fuck's going on. I don't know if I want to battle you. Leveled up my Bonica, but it won't evolve. Boho Kyomako and Boho Yomi. Yeah, those games. There's one you, yeah. Yeah, those those aren't translated for some reason. They don't. They probably don't even get that much translation to them. Hell, I I would be perfectly okay with just a transcript. Like if the game can't be hard hard uh, tr replaced for the English language, then I am 100% okay with having a transcript to read off of because that's uh, that's it's the same thing. I don't need a map. Like Super Marissa World is a game that has pretty much no text at all, but it's not translated. Why did that happen? Oh, right. Forgot Dream is good against you. The Yomu one is translated? What? Since when? Oh. When the fuck that happened? Shoot, shoot, Natori. I don't know about that. I don't know that one. There's a lot. Hmm. Super Russian world. Ex what? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> I'm gonna need some. I'm gonna need some insight on that one. Why is that popping up in, in with, with what? <laughs> this entire path is ass. Be a rebel. No, I don't think I will. Cue ball, Corey. All right, here's a little bludgeoner. Screenshots have Rainbow Marissa Mario, Terminal 7 Mario, and Sonic as playable characters. Excuse me? Now hold, hold on. What? And Weege. Now that, that sounds pretty damn good. <laughs> Maybe it's Vinny Bait. Maybe. It seems like it. But it sounds pretty sick. Booty! No. Not literally Terminal 7 Mario. It just, just looks like it. I'm out of here. Fly away now. Oh, never mind. 
It's technically a demo, but it's longer than Imperishable Night. Oh. That seems like something I could do on Saturday. But... I don't know. I want to save. I want to save Saturday for more. The more. Uh, the more goofy. The more goofy uh, Toho games. Hmm. I don't remember what's coming out now. I'm staying in. I have Swagger up. I was Tenchi again. See you later. Hmm. If you're gonna use the wiki to read up on Toho characters, it, it, it does help. But if you have any specific questions, do do not be afraid to ask because they're, the wiki is out, actually outdated. Prime example of that is that if you go, if you look at Suika's if you look at Suika's article on the wiki, it'll list Kassen, uh, her relationship with Kassen is currently unknown, but it's not unknown. We know what it is now, so it's a little outdated in that sense. So if you have any specific questions, then people are very capable of answering here in this chat. You goddamn weebs. Go fix the wiki. Boy! You go fix the wiki! There are no trainers left while you fly back. Did you not see the trainer that was moving back and forth to my immediate left? Did, did... Are you blind? Are you Koishi? For shame, Frankie. For shame. Fuchsia would still be closer. Do you have any idea how painful it is to go up Cycling Hill on the bike? Have you ever played Pogies? Look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that trainer. Look at that trainer at the top of Cycling Hill. Yep. Fuchsia was definitely closer. I should have went up Cycling Hill in Fuchsia, just like Blue Kaizo, right? Fucking Blue Kaizo. You can hold B to stop Cycling Road. Yo, if I hold B, Cycling Road just ceases to exist? Now that's powerful. Ow. You'll slap me? Yeah, right. Good luck! You're on the other side of the world! Nice. The sub about Futo being unable to adapt to modern times is still not changed as we learned in the quiz. I don't- Did I get critted again? What?! Ex huh?! Dev, is there a bug? Dev. Dev, I need answers. What what is going on there? Did you, did you is there is there is there a breach in the code? <laughs> there's there's got there's gotta be something wrong here. No, there has to be something wrong here. I I can't believe that just happened. I got critical hit by double kick twice in a row. There's nothing wrong here, it's just unlucky. I can't believe this. Fix your game! Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's alive, damn it. Can't fix it, there's no problem. I don't know! <laughs> There seems to be a problem here! <laughs> oh, here comes... Why does everybody on this route have a, a, a goddamn little... Tenshi? I, I want a Tenshi! I don't even know what Tenshi's... Ah. Tenshi's Earth. Ah, Mommy G! Mm. The odds technically exist, you just have to live in the universe where they come to pass. But that's bullshit! Why do they keep happening to me? I kinda want my own Tenshi. I'm worried about what happens if it evolves though. Ah. <sighs> 
Bright Powder is a dumb, dumb item that I definitely rely on sometimes. <laughs> a bunch of- I- I- okay, the, the amount of Pokemon that had Bright Powder and Crystal Kaizo was terrible. Because everything was perfectly fine and then you'd miss an accurate move and you're just like, why did that happen? Surfest entire thing is to crit three times in a row. Yeah, but critical hits are different in that game, and that if you hit a if you hit a stage four critical hit increase, you uh you have a guaranteed crit. So you use a dire hit and you have a you hold a stick and you're good. What's Fury Cutter? An attack that grows stronger on each successive hit. That's actually pretty good. I'm gonna get rid of Razor Wind, because Razor Wind is not helpful. So now we have uh we basically have cut. Cut can't miss, so we don't need we don't need a uh, razor wind. So we can rely on we can rely on building fury cutters. Base forty and steel type. It's good because it's base forty, steel type, and it gets stronger with each move. Fury cutter starts at like ten power, isn't it? Twenty? Ten or twenty? One of the one of the two. Um, was there? I I couldn't remember. <laughs> couldn't remember. Nero. It's rollout for steel. Not exactly, not exactly. Because rollout, rollout is a move that you're locked into, and each time it, it works, it does double the damage, as it did last time. Depending on calculations, of course. But this was a move you can voluntarily stop using at any time. The only moves that follow rollout's uh, rule is rollout itself, of course, and ice ball. Self-destruct. Wait, you mean, does Fury Cutter lock me in? I gotta test that, hold on. Hold on. Oh, that's a full-ass Hina. All right, let me see. Nice. Oh! Well, now we won't know at all. <laughs> Gen 5 starts at 20. I have a question. So, let's say you have Fury Cutter on a Pokemon with Technician, right? Does that mean when Fury Cutter reaches a point where it's super strong, it no longer is Technician Boost? Or does Technician Boost always apply no matter what, as long as the move's original base power starts at 20? What type is this thing, anyway? Just... She's just poison? Okay. That makes sense. She's she's not a specialized type. Excellent. Mind bullets! Has levitate though. Well that's fine. Yeah, 31. That implies people actually use Fury Cutter. I know, but the thing is, there's no You can run Bug Bite with Technician, and it's stronger than X Scissor. But like, I I'm just curious as to whether or not, whether or not uh, Fury Cutter can be used in any capacity. I am upset about those two being dead. Hold on. Let's just go to Fuchsia. It's, it's faster. You can't surf on Cycling Road. Technician would stop working on Fury Cutter after a few turns. Okay, so that's that is how that works then. I wasn't sure because no one uses it. Wait, is that Iku? Oh, I can go to the Safari Zone and catch a bunch of Bonicas. Oh, Dev, you are my favorite. Do you see how convenient you made this layout for Fuchsia? You're the best. Now I don't have to go all the way around and then jump down a little ledge. There are staircases everywhere. Fairy card is a good move for choice ban. Did you edit the zoo? Did you edit it if you can talk to the Pokemon? Because in, in, uh, in the originals, if you talk to the Pokemon... If you talk to the Pokemon, they had an exclamation mark. Also, we're getting Chirinos theme again. So where the move deleter is as well, so I can get rid of anything I don't want. Well, here, here, okay, here's the thing. Here's the thing, you shitter. The, the difference between going to Fuchsia now and then is that the trainer is literally right here, whereas the other trainers were up at the top of the hill. See? This is the last trainer. Look how close he was. Can you, can you battle me? Fairy Cutter is heat with Metronome. Too bad Metronome sucks. 
You know, after you told me that they got the, the metronome, how it worked wrong, I was like, oh, that's neat. And then I was just browsing YouTube because I hate myself. And I ran across a 10 minute video that was like, the item that Pokemon got wrong for this many years. It's like, damn. You really turn that in 10 minutes? <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand how you can turn literally three seconds of information into a 10 minute video. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. Easy for the money. Yeah, okay, yeah. That's like how Game Explain will turn uh, turn two minutes of trailer footage into uh, analysis that lasts for the rest of your life. That kind of thing. It happens. Shit happens. Metronome dynamic punch in the racist face. Why would you say something like that? That was, that was, that was uncalled for. Raisa didn't do anything to deserve that. You just have a bunch of rins. Crit me. Oh, it didn't even crit me this time. I could have swore I just got critted. Hatchy sucks! I got a revolver. Flame wheel. How did you know? Unbelievable. I worry about Patchy. I really do. What level does Raisin evolve? She's still... She's still a little brat. I mean, they're all little brats. One more level for Psybeam. 38. 38?! Oh my god, I'm gonna be here for the rest of my life! Well... Blaze. Yeah, that makes sense. But you're a fire type, obviously. It's 36. That would make sense. Oh my god, why can you self-destruct? <laughs> Alright. It's fine with me. Oh, she has another one. I don't- oh, she's gonna do it again, most likely. That cannon on her arm is just, uh... What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? The cannon on her arm is... What is it? It's a rolled up magazine that Satori put on her arm. And she's having fun with it. Oh, I missed and now you're gonna blow up, right? Oh, you blaze kick. That kind of makes sense, actually. It's a sandwich! <laughs> it's a hoagie! Alright, that's all of them. Nice. It's like... Chat, you ever- you ever take a- you ever take a cardboard tube and put it over your arm? Pretend you're Mega Man? Tell me you didn't. Tell me you didn't. I'm looking for the Bonica Gyoto. I want to trade one for Toyohime. Why does everybody want a goddamn Gyoto? Let's see if the Bionics have to show. There are people swimming. Palatown is to the west. Then what? What? Okay. One time at work, I broke open a box of, uh... Uh... Of... Cream cheese. And the box slid so perfectly into my hand that I, I took a pen, and I drew a clock on it, and I put it on my wrist. And then I showed some of my coworkers, and I was like, hey, wanna see the time? And that's that's what I do when I have fun, when I'm, I'm bored. I'm bored and I have time. <laughs> I, do, I do shit like that. Don't give me those ellipses. What do you do? Do you, do you, do you dislike fun? Doc! Disable my cringe inhibitors! Sometimes you just have to accept that the things you do are stupid and no one will understand them. But if you're enjoying yourself, then who the fuck are people to judge you for it? Alright, I'm gonna check the binoculars. I wanna see what's flying to the Seafoam Islands. 
Oh, you get- you need 50 for you, yeah. What do you have? 20? Oh yeah, you lowered it, because you're the best dev ever. Thank you, dev. There we go. That's originally the EXP share for 50, but he's- uh, dev said he, he swapped it. In Vermilion. A large shining bird. That is not what I call a shining bird. But there you go. Big scary lady. Alright. You guessed Sariel. Well, it's surprising how close you were, to be honest with you. <laughs> you, you hit that pretty close. Okay, let's see. Uh, there's a few things I can do here. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go to the Safari Zone because I'll be able to get Surf, which will be stronger for Patchy. That'll be a better uh, option. Dev, is there anything of note that you changed here? So, name Moko. Um, Dev. Dev, I don't think this is correct. Name Alice. Makai no Maho Princess. Dev! Did not fix the zoo or the binoculars. Hey, it's Shiki. No, it's not. Aki the judge. That's Satori. Oh, I have a Satori. Where's Sarah? Sarah and Eric. Sarah's in the safari zone itself. What else is there? Who's that? Uh, Raisin A. No, that's Advent Raisin from from Advent Chirno. <laughs> Story. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, Kirisame, an extremely rare Bonica. Well, I mean, that's not incorrect, but it also is kind of incorrect. It's the PC-98 one. And then there's Iku there. Uh, sorry, that's Iku. Beautiful Scarlet Cloth. Neat! What do you have to buy? Hard orbs! Ooh. Yeah, give me that. Give me ten of those. I like that they're gray. It's a cool, actually, that's a really cool color aesthetic. I like the, the black and white. To be honest, as good as Ultra Balls are, they're probably one of my least favorite balls aesthetically. I don't know why, I like Great Balls more. Is Aventurino an evolution? Good question. Aventurino was a really weird thing. I was- I found a f I found it before, but I think I need to watch Advent Children first, and it, it's kind of hard to do that. I have to, though. I have to see it to believe it. But every time I think about having to watch Advent Children, I remember the stories and I think, maybe I won't do that. But I have to. I have to. <laughs> Welcome to the Safari Zone. For 500, you can play the Safari game. Yep, we can do that. Let's go. 30 Safari Orbs. I wonder what those look like. Oh my god. Yeah, here we go. Here's this loop for the rest of our lives. Get Chirino in a rainbow shard now. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, let me just do that. Throw rocks at girls. Now hold on there. At least it's- yeah, it's better than the evolution music at least. But I'm just waiting for the payoff. But it never comes. Kotohime. Throw a rock at her. If you turn your brain off, it's not bad. I did- I have heard that the- the action scenes in Advent Children are pretty sick. But, you know, it's- it's pretty schlock. <laughs> <laughs> so, I already- I, I kind of know the plot of Final Fantasy VII already, so I'll, I'll probably be able to enjoy it like that. You gotta- if you throw stones at Pokemon in Safari Zone, their- their capture rate- they're- they're easier to catch, but they're more likely to flee. Barrett and Sid look very weird in Advent Children. I've never seen them. I always thought Cloud looked kind of weird. He looks so different. And his Advent Children costume became uh, a Smash outfit, which was kind of neat. I like that his sword. His sword's kind of cool in Advent Children, though. I'll give you that. I like the I like the traditional Buster sword, though. It's just so simple. Oh, green shard. But the the fusion sword is kind of sick. The one wing angel theme in Advent Children is cool. One wing angel's pretty good. I like the part where they go Sephiroth. What are you? Orai? Oh. Oh, that's not good.
It's okay, chat. It's a doll. It's a doll. It's not human. It's quite literally a doll, not a bonica. It's okay. It's alright. Sunny day. Doki Doki is Twitch compliant. That's true. <gasps> it's orange! Yeah, rocks! Yeah! She's basically a bagworm. True? Oh, what do you mean, who? That's orange! Nice! Of course, that's the one I catch. Orange is- yeah, orange is basically Chansey. I remember that from Papa Dad's performance. She's thick. Oh, that means she's really rare, right? You know what would be sick? If uh, her shiny form is just Mailing's clothes. That would be- that would be a great shiny. Orange. Otherwise known as Chen. Where's the G? She's not rare? What? She's not rare, but she's Chansey. Chansey's the rarest thing in the world. I'm running- Oh! Dad, did you give me more steps? Did you give me 600 steps instead of 500? Or is that just a thing for this game? Orange is Chen and Mailing combined. They become Super Chen. Yeah. Oh, whoops. I'm, I want to get that item. Ellie! So it seems like a lot of PC-98 characters are in here. Makes sense. This is a good place to stick them. After all, the, the whole point of the Safari Zone is to is for rare Pokemon that are in danger due to over uh, over hunting, things like Kangaskhan and stuff. So it makes sense that the PC98 characters would be in uh, protective custody, so to speak. Meme aware? Never. Each zone has fairly different mods in them, so good luck with that. Well, I can reach I can reach the later zone easier when I get Surf. I don't have anything in particular I'm looking for. I'm just catching whatever shows up. I'm not using Ellie, don't worry. I imagine Ellie's pretty good, though. She's really good in Puppet Dance performance. She's Steel Wind. Has some great moves. I just don't have much uh, value. Or, like, uh, not value. Value's not a good word there. I don't have much attachment to her, so I just kind of I kind of let her go. We'll find Mima. Don't worry, we'll, we'll find her. Look, she's right there. Oh my god. It's the squad. I need it. Don't run. <laughs> I gotta get the squad. Got him. <laughs> I can't, okay, I don't, I don't nickname things, I don't nickname things in these games, but come on, I can't not do this. <laughs> the squad! No, I wanna, I wanna look at them. I wanna look at them. Me and the birds chilling in the safari zone. <laughs> oh god. I don't remember which way to go, at all. I kind of hope there's some items in here. I found a green shard. Oh, quick claws! Oh, yes! The Hot Wheels Battle Force 5. <laughs> no, I tried using Rumia. I haven't even found Cherno. That you say outlived her usefulness, unfortunately. I don't like medicine. I haven't even found her yet, either. Oh, whoops. It's the art book. I think it's down here? Quick claws of Suica? That's a good idea, yeah. I'll worry about that in a bit, though. That, it won't matter here. Just remind me when I'm done. Oh, there's a Shanghai. I'm gonna... Oh, fuck. I'm gonna have to come back in here, for sure, because, yeah, I don't remember the way to go. you think I would after playing this game so much. The better doll? You mean the uh, Titania X? Still waiting for Lily X. Spring is here, brother! 
she's just having fun. I'll throw a rock at her. See if she's still having fun. Okay, I guess fun's over. I need Surf to get Flan, because I've been told she's in the power plant. In order to use Surf, I need Koga's badge. So Flan there won't be for a while. Who? Oh? Fuck is this? I'll catch her. Got her. It's Sara. I can read the name. Literally who? S A R A. Makai China. Oh. So she's like a gatekeeper from Makai? What game is she from? Is she from 4 or 5? Oh, she's gotta be from 5 if she's from Kai, yeah? Oh, there you are again. There's no dex entry for the bird squad, no. There isn't. They're, uh, they're national decks, so once I get the national decks, we can see it. Nice. I'm pretty sure Safari Balls have the same catch rate as Great Balls. One of Alice's dolls. Horai is more powerful powerful than Shanghai. Well, you heard it here first. Chad, I have a question. Does Tori evolve? Steel Wing, good. The Dex entry is a liar. <laughs> Tori doesn't evolve? No! No! I wanted to use it. It's so cool. Oh my god. Stay right there, Fuzzball. What? You're... <laughs> FOEs! Tori unfortunately sucks, but it is a good meme one that gets surprisingly good moves. But it's the birds! I wanted it to evolve so every single one of them would come equipped with a cool weapon. Like Utsuho would just have an arm cannon and she would she would be the firepower and then the one in the front would have a shield and Aya would have a uh, Aya would have her camera for strategical retreats and then Hatate would also have her camera for special attack. She would be she would be the, the perfect the weapon to surpass the metal gear. Boy doesn't learn anything after level 28. Are you serious? Well, let's get the gold teeth here. I have enough to get Surf. Yeah, barely, though. Double team. Yeah, I have enough. We're good. Finally, you're the first person to reach the secret house. Although I made a campaign for a grand opening, I was getting worried that no one would win our campaign prize. Congratulations, you have won. Nice. Hey, so there's Surf. You'll be able to ferry across water and use HM as disposal units over here. should be like a really fabulous prize. Did you change, uh... Did you change Surf? I don't think you would need to, to be honest. But... Nope, you kept it the same. That makes sense. Okay, I have a question. Patchy... Patchy can learn that when she evolves, right? Or am I... Am I shit out of luck? I can't use it until I beat Koga anyway, so it's not that big a deal, but I... I really prefer... I really prefer a Pokemon on my team to be able to use Surf. You know who could? Komachi. Maybe. I'll give it a try. I'm gonna get one more level on Patchy. I'm not gonna come back in here until I, uh... I'm not gonna come back in here until I can use Surf to get the rest of the items and check out the rest of the area. But we got a few things in there that it's worth checking out. I want to take a look at them. Get fish in the back. There's a guy that gets a good rod here, yeah? Let me see. Alright, what do we got? We got orange. She's sassy. Ooh. Wow. She's reverse chancy. <laughs> Comet punch. 
Uh, Comet Punch, Reversal, Pursuit, and Stomp. Was she dream type? Yeah. Ellie used to steal. She's relaxed. That's a terrible nature. Knock off, block, fury cutter, and jump kick. That's pretty good. The squad. Flying illusion. <laughs> Hold on, they're fast and powerful. And they have air slash ma Oh my god, what is this power? A psychic air slash arrow blast and blast burn. You, you're, you're telling me that's a meme? Bro, we got Aya's move, we got Hatate's move, we got Mistia's move, and we got Utsuo's move. That's the squad. It's a meme, use them. You can't tell me that ain't heat. Hardy nature, and then Horai. She's reason. Your dream, you're defensive. Special, especially defensive, slow as shit, and physical attack. Very weird. And then you are... Maintenance. Heals the body by shedding. That's shed skin. Okay, so Hodai probably doesn't evolve either. Chad, I want to use them. <laughs> oh, I kind of want to use them. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, this, this is where Luna, Luna's gonna take her, uh, a retirement. Get rid of Mistia. No, 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 no. I'm not even a Luna. Mistia's still too good. Tori has 30 HP, 20 attack, 40 defense, 50 special defense, 90 special attack, and 110 speed. So what you're saying is as long as I get the first hit, then we're good, right? You can't tell me that Moo Pool isn't like ridiculously overloaded. Nah, we got this. I'm gonna get one more level on Patchy, get Side Beam, I'm gonna evolve her. And then I'm going to cry when she can't learn Surf, and I have used my only other Red Shard. It's gonna suck. I suppose I could use a good rod and just get like a Notori or something, but I, I, I really, I'm, I'm hoping. Great move pool, no stabs. Doesn't need him. Want to play? Patchy can't learn any HM. Oh, for real? Ah, uh, shit. But she's supposed to be a Water type. She's supposed to be water fire. I don't need her then if I Oh no. Chad, I might have to ditch Patchy. Because I don't have a need for her in this in this case. She becomes fire water. I have a fire type in Suica. And I'm gonna need a water type for Surf. So Patchy. Go get Komachi. Is Komachi Komachi's a physical attack. Is Komachi a physical attacker or a special attacker? Komachi is physical. <sighs> then there's the problem where I have too many physical attackers. Misty is a physical attacker. Uh, Momiji is a physical attacker. Suika is a physical attacker. I guess the squad isn't. The squad deals in special attacks. No, that's fine. That's fine. That's it's four to two. It's four to two. Misty can do both. Misty's nature is special attack down, I believe. Charm's helpful. This is gonna be a long battle. Oh boy. The special attack is still higher, is it? Well, she's not learned any moves. Sharpen. Here we go. Yeah. Get her. I don't know where to get her. I, I legitimately don't know where she is. If I had to guess, she's in the Seafoam Islands. But that's pretty far away. Hmm. Route 9. That early? I didn't find her at all. No one mentioned it either. Alright, well now I'm now I'm in a situation. Kenji's annoying. 9 and 10. Well, Chirino's an ice type, not a water type. I don't think she can learn surf. Hold on. If, if Komachi's a physical attacker, then why would I want her for surf? Wouldn't it be better to get someone else for that? Finally. Hmm. 
You can get churn on the grass patch for a rock tunnel. That? Wow. Yeah, I had access to that. The whole time. I don't want an HM slate because the HMs are, are good moves. They're not bad moves. You can utilize them pretty well. Your reason. Heart. The problem is, I'm not looking for a water type. I'm looking for, I'm looking for a pogey that can learn surf. That's the most important part. It's just if they're a water type, they get stabbed. Like, Patchy's fire water when she becomes attack form, but I can't utilize that because I have Suika, who's earth fire, and like, and then I'll have, I need a water type for surf, so I'll have both of those types covered, so all Patchy does is exist in the void, where she gets credit and dies. Get Fudo, she's water and special and learn surf. What? How is Fudo a water type? How is Fudo a water type? Alright, let's go. She has a nice boat. Oh, fuck, you're right. Surf's just one of those HMs that you'd expect to have on a Pokemon you use, in my opinion. That's how I've always seen Surf. I always have HM slays for things like Strength and Cut and all that bullshit, but Surf is an actual, like, legitimate move. Fudo was water. Notori exists and she has special slides. But we saw a technical one. We saw the technical one. Okay, let me, let me backtrack here. Let's backtrack a little bit. Let's figure this out together. Technical is a special one. We've already seen that one in the robot suit. Hmm. 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 Alright, let me take the donation box out of you. Sorry, Patchy. You were so close. Hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> Defense Marasa learns more, leans more to special. I don't have Marasa, though. Star, but not only you star. All right. So we need a. Uh... Should we at least evolve it to see it? Hell no! You know how expensive that red shard is. I can't throw around those funds. I ain't got that. Hmm. You can get Toyohime from the fighting gym. She's water earth. And special. And good. But she's Toyohime! Hmm. Fish yourself a Suwako and you got- Oh! Yo! Yo, Suwako? Where? Where Where do I fish up frog- Where do I fish up little froggy? Tell me now. Tell me now. I want to fish up a frog. Think you need a super rod? I can get that. That's, that's, I can get that. That's not that far away. For some reason, the good rod's farther. Check this for Suwako location. Let me get the, let me get the super rod first. Uh, quickest way, quickest way. Uh, I guess I need to, I need to take care of the Yukari. Should I catch the Yukari? Or should I just, should I just not? Is she the Dratini? That makes sense, because they're considering her actual rarity. Let's see. Misty up from. Just beat Yukari up. She's annoying. Of course she is. She's Yukari. We'll get the second leftovers for sure. Uh, all fishing. Okay, super rod. Yeah, we can get the super rod. It's it's not that far out of the way. It's what's interesting to me is that the super rod and the good rod. The super rod is on the way to Fuchsia. 
But the thing is, this whole route between Lavender and Fuchsia is optional. And I'm sure- I'm pretty sure most people end up just going for Cycling Road and then forgetting this road even exists. But the good rod comes after the super rod if you come this way, which is really strange. Hmm. <clears throat> Use the flute. Wake up! I'm not gonna use her? No, you're right, I'm not. I'm not gonna use her at all. What- wait, 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 what if she's attack? What if she's attack, though? What if she's shiny? I don't remember what type she is. Blow up. For the special attacker, Suiko, you don't need any shard, just train her to level 40. That's good! I can work with that. I don't know what it just did. Side beam. 10% chance. What are Subaco's abilities? <clears throat> damp and Water Veil. Neither of those are that helpful, but surprisingly, Damp would work better. Damp would actually work better. Just because some things like to explode on me. It's Reason type. What's good against Reason again? Heart. Base special attack 115 and 100 speed. Nice, that's good. And I want to use I want to use her because I like Suiko. A lot of people like Suiko, but she's kind of she flies under the radar because she doesn't actually do a whole lot. When you think about it, the main the main face of the Moria Shrine is technically it's it's Suiko, but the figurehead is Kanako, and then you have Sanai being the player character. So Suiko kind of exists, but not necessarily. So, why not use her? I'm gonna use Frog Burger. Return to the gap. I didn't know we were buying clothes. Uh, item finder. Suiko's based on the original god of the Sua Shrine. Whereas Kanako's based on the invader. I forgot to give the guy the gold teeth to get strength, but whatever. There we go. Suwako has uh, can control the curse gods, the big white snake thing. She has dominion over Earth. She's pretty strong. And she's not a frog. See? Literally right here. Here's the super rod. You see how quick that was? <laughs> All I had to do was beat up Yukari. Alright, so... A request. Catch a big wriggle. I want to see it. What do you mean? What? Why would wriggle come out of the water? Huh? Alright, I'm gonna catch you the... 42 and 20. Nice. Wriggle's allowed to swim. Yeah, but... She shouldn't be biting the hooks. Alright, let's use... Let's use the super rod. Look at this. Hey, look at this advancement. Here we go. And my game crashed. I've heard that some ROM hacks crash when you try to use the rods. Maybe I was being bullshitted, though. Hmm. Chat, what's that? What is- what is that? That's not a frog. Is- is Suwako on this route? I don't even know what route I'm on. I'll just fly back to Fuchsia. Oh, well, there's Natori. I can get Natori while I'm here. Why not? Let's get a, let's get a Natori. You just confuse Mina and had Hina and Medicine a lot. I can see it. <clears throat> They're both poison types in the games. I like Hina more than Medicine, though. You gotta feel bad for both of them, because their hard character is the right. Aren't you on 1415? Bro, I have no idea. 
<laughs> if you if you ask me Pokemon routes, I can tell you when I'm on Route 1, and I can tell you when I'm on Route 2. After that, you fucking got me. I don't know where I am. One of the Yokai Mountain residents she uses optical camouflage to hide from humans. Yep, medicine is the the uh, the mid boss for the characters whose plots are pretty much irrelevant to the overall the grand scheme of Toho Nine. She exists in a spot that indicates that the character in question went the wrong way. There's nothing wrong with medicine necessarily, but. I mean, I say this all the time, I'm a broken record on this, but when you have to compete, when you have to compete with the likes of Yuka's Return, Aya's uh, game debut, Komachi and Eiki, you are not standing out. It doesn't help that your character is literally just a doll that is full of so much poison and whose Don Maku is cheap. Cheap shit. Alright. Let's catch yourselves a frog. I have to put some good bait on the end of the hook. Maybe I should buy a burger. Itori's in my party now. Put Chirino as bait. No, I'm gonna put a hamburger. There we go. Wow. Alright, here's some bait. Kanako's a better god. Got her. Damn it! Wrong one! I tried, though. I have, Natori. I want frog. Post your burgies, chat. The more burgies, the better. We're gonna turn this into a goddamn sushi conveyor belt with McDonald's burgos. Suriko didn't fall for the bait. She's advanced. She's too smart for that. Oh, I see the green move into frame and I know what's coming every time. So it's gonna be a bitch to catch. <clears throat> Here we go. Use cucumbers, you find a kappa. What's the encounter rate on this? She's, she's definitely rare, but how bad could it be? This is the worst part, is now that I've said I want Suiko, I will never ever see Suiko. Ever. I have a question, chat. So, you know the, uh... You know the water that the Lapras is swimming in, in the zoo? Is that a... Is that, uh, is that water tile have Pokemon in it? 15%? That's good. Like, if you, if you cheat your way into there, and you use your fishing rod, can you run into anything? Or even just an encounter in general? No, it's a puddle. Oh. Wait, yes? Chat, you, you literally conflicted yourself immediately. How did you do that? It's a puddle, so it's not actually a body of water. And if you ha if you hack into it, you're just walking. Okay, because puddles existed. I don't think there are any puddles in this game. Puddles existed in, in Gen Three, though, uh, or Hoenn specifically. I can't remember any puddles existing in Fire Red and Green. Wouldn't it be cool to find a shiny? I only missed you out front because of Sing. Sing makes things easier. Encounter, uh, for, for catching Pokemon, a paralysis is increases your chances by times two. Sleep and freeze increase by times three. The trade-off, of course, is that freeze is incredibly difficult to do without hurting the Pokemon, and sleep is a condition that they can recover from, unlike par paralysis. Was it 1.5 and times 2? Is it? I thought it was times 2 and times 3 respectively. Times 1, uh, 0.5 and times 2 seems more logical. But I, I don't know, I need a, I need some sided sources on this one. Come on! I'm, I'm in the frog pond, dog. I wonder what's in the safari zone.
You know, I wouldn't be surprised if I pulled Iku out of the water, because she is an ore fish. I mean, the water with the Lapras and Johto. What? No, I mean the Lapras and, and the, the Fuchsia. The Fuchsia. Wait, no, it's a fucking Omanite, isn't it? Not a Lapras. Isn't it a Lapras? Oh, God. What the hell was in there now? Was it Omanite or was it Lapras? I hate when this happens. You know when you're so confident in something as a memory and then someone's like, uh, no, it's not actually that. And you're like, what? And you sit there and you're like, what the? How long, how long have I been living this lie? I don't want to believe it. <laughs> I don't want to trust it. Both of them. It was Omanite. One had a Lapras, one had a Fossil. So... What? So there the was a Lapras? What? I used the Lapras bite in red and blue? Well, that would make sense. That would make sense. The big one was Lapras, the small one was Fossil. Well, because I know there was a Fossil, because the one it replaced, it said it was the Marissa, and it said it was an extremely rare Pokémon. But wasn't it Lapras next to the Mart? Chat, we're all collectively failing as a species in this moment in time. Somebody needs to correct us. Set us set us on the right path again. Like Suiko. Just give me the frog. I hope when I pull her up, she's a decent level. That would suck. I do so appreciate the first five to six seconds of Cheerno's theme. Combined with the town's theme. Yep. You're killing me here. The one by the mark was Lapras. So I was right. I was right this whole time. And you threw me on a wild goose chase. Whoa. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, chat. I'm getting I'm getting too far away from the mic. Uh-oh, here I go. It's cause I'm on my high horse. Unbelievable. <laughs> and just like that, three little words can immediately maul the man. Told you so. Horse. Everybody should have a horse like Saki. One that is needlessly aggressive and will kick your ass. Yeah. Cowboy Aya. I'm starting to think I've been lied to. Just a bit. I just want a frog. I want my amazing frog. So I can be on my way. Because I need to I need to increase the level of my bonica. It's a 15% chance here. Yeah, and Layla was 2% and she showed up immediately. What's going on here? What's going on? The best I can do is crazy frog. <laughs> bing, bing. Version exclusive. Come on. Fall for the bait. It's the easy bait. First bun, then patty. Ketchup, mustard, pickles, extra onions, lettuce, cheese, tomato, and bun. One Krabby Patty. I could go for a Krabby Patty red boat now. Your descendants are weak, Moria blood. Spawn it. Here we go. Just looking for a frog. 
Keto, Keto. Maybe I have to play Kero Destiny. Did I say something spicier? I don't think frogs are that great an animal. She didn't buy it. She didn't buy it. She's... She's... She's too good! <laughs> she has evacuated the pond. <laughs> Catch and release! It doesn't help that after I pull up the Notori, I throw it back in the water, and then it just... It just doesn't learn. And then it bites the rod again. Chat, remember in the anime, that guy who spent like 50 years trying to catch a wish cache? And he had a master ball, and he finally fished up the wish cache when Ash showed up, and then the fucking wish cache swallowed his master ball, and then disappeared. Poor bastard. Where did he get that master ball from? Poor bastard. He didn't do anything to deserve that. He deserved to catch that wish cache. A little bit sick of seeing you. My name, Frog. My status, amazing. Chat, you know that the the brighter the color, the more poisonous the frog is. Sometimes frogs are incredibly poisonous. It's like this black and red frog it looks super cool, and just touching it, it's just super poisonous. Frogs are bastards. I've seen a frog before. They really do know how to hop. It's in my pool. It's hanging out in the little little corner. The frog doesn't do any. No, the frog is. You touch it and it secretes poison constantly because it's a little bastard. So it just. Just don't touch it, and you're good. That isn't very rad at all. You ever see a frog eat a fly? Because I haven't. I wonder how that would look. Chat, what is, what is a, what does a tadpole look like when it's, it's, it's growing into a frog? Because when I look at a tadpole and I look at a frog, I don't, I don't understand how that becomes the other. Basically, all I can think of is the tadpole growing like super thick legs, and then its body just like exploding, and then it's then it's a full-on frog. I don't get it. Mm, tadpoles slowly grow legs and arms as they age. It's kind of cute. Oh, it depends what they look like. I can only think of it having really beefy legs, you know, buns and thighs, all that good stuff, because they need those legs to be good. Because they go keto keto and then they go hop hop and they're on lily pads. Perhaps someday. Perhaps someday. I will encounter. All the tail go- Oh yeah, they don't have tails anymore when they- they- I almost said evolve. <laughs> when they grow up, they lose their tails. We sure it's super rod? Why wouldn't it be? There's no Pokemon that you can only catch with a good rod that a super rod doesn't catch. The better rod increases the encounter rate for the, the rare Pokemon. Like, old rod is only magic carps, and then good rod is, like, better things. And then the super rod is even better things on top of that. I would pull up. I'd pull up a Sega Sage faster than I would pull anything else, for sure. Sega has no business being in here. Then again, it is the pond at the back of someone's house, so maybe Sega did end up back here. Fun fact, did you know Sega uh, Sega has been pegged as a wicked hermit. Because of her uh, because of her immoral actions, she will never be allowed to ascend to heaven. So she just resides as a hermit permanently until the day she is ultimately killed or just I don't know stops.
Yeah, so they say... They say she never did anything wrong, but everyone else is like, Well, she's wicked. She's a wicked hermit. And she's done... Whatever else she's done will not allow her to ascend to heaven. So she just lives the rest of her life. She lives the rest of her life just being a hermit. She's cute, though. Well, that's... That's... I don't know about that one. She's too... She's too sexual. For my taste. Well, I mean, that's that's all fandom. She gets... She gets too horny. She goes full-on horny. Hmm... Necromantic. Yeah, that's... Okay, that's full horny. That is full horny. I want to know how they, they, like, think up their, their songs, you know? Like, imagine if you're you're in the board meeting, or whatever they do, and they're like, alright, let's make a song. Let's make a song. How do we... How, what do we do? What are we based on? Someone's just like... They just sit there in silence, and then they hear someone's heartbeat, and they're like, promotion. You got it. Let's make that. And there you go. That's how the song. That's that's how the song came to be. That song has almost hit a million uh, million views on YouTube, which is pretty sick for them. It's a really fucking catchy song. God damn it! This is the best encounter chance I've had for something I'm looking for, and I can't find it. Yeah, I actually woke up and saw it, and I was like, oh, okay, they got a new one, I'll check it out. I was like, I first listened to it, and I was like, this is kind of weird, but then, the thing about Akatsuki Records songs is the first time I listened to it... The first time I listened to it, I was like, that was neat, I think. And then I listened to it again, and I was like, hold on, that's kind of a banger. And that's pretty much what happens to all of their songs for me, is I'll listen to it one time, and I'm like, yeah, that was pretty good, I think. Let me just confirm that one more time. And I listen to it again, and I'm like, alright, yeah, you got, you got me. You absolutely got me. Like, Hani Paganda was one that I listened to, like, two times. I was like, this is so weird. But every now and again, I was, I couldn't help but, like, hum it to myself. I was like, why is it sticking in my head? And I listened to it again, and I was like, that, that's, uh, yep, it's good. <laughs> it's good. That's such a sense of my recommended. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much how it goes. It gets in there somehow. There was another song. I forget who released it. There was, uh... They did a collaboration with, like, Yuhei Satellite. It was Shinra Basso, I think it is? They made a... They did a collab song. Which was a mashup of... Maiden's Cappuccino, a little bit of Love Colored Master Spark, and Innocent Treasures, which is Zen's theme. It's really, 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 really good. Shinra Basho. They're very good, yeah. They have a really scary PV for uh, a Koishi song, though. It's fucking sinister. Holy jeez. Like, if you look at any of their PVs, uh, and that shit is super cute, right? And then you look at that Koishi one, and you're just like, why? <laughs> oh, why, 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 why? It's so... It's... It's brutal. The new Yashi one is great. I haven't checked that one out. It's appeared on my recommended, though. I'm not overly familiar with a lot of the themes in Toa 17 yet. I am familiar with, uh... Mayumi's, though, because it's my favorite. For sure. Unconscious Subconscious. That's probably what it is. Yeah, the PV for that one is terrifying. I'm pretty sure there's even a warning about subject matter on it. Maybe change another location? Nah, son. Nah, you don't understand. I'm stubborn as hell hell. You told me I could find it here? I'm gonna find it here. Or I'll die trying. Besides. Besides. As soon as I get her, we can be on our way. This is the best part of the stream, where I sit here and fish. Yep. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. 
15? Maybe even 20. Real fishing hours. <laughs> Minus two! This is a no frog zone. Well, I mean, the best place to find a frog would be the, the street, right? Let's go play Frogger. That's a good game. Just, just bite the rod. Come on. I hope I just fish up her hat, and that's uh, that's the entirety of her character. Just the hat. The Pokemon on the water surface are different from the Pokemon you can reel up in the fishing rod, you know. That's why it's really annoying when you check... When you check a water type and you see they're in the water, and it's impossible to tell if that's because... That that's above water or below water. Usually it's fishing. Because most of the time, the only things you can catch above water are like the same old, same old. But in Hoenn's case, there's some, there's a lot of things. 15%, huh? Yeah, that's what I said. I think her hat was a mon and a bad Toemon version. How could it be a bad Toemon version if her hat was a standalone mon? I'm currently rocking a, a posse of four burbs. How many more? Don't Notori live in the river? Why am I pulling Notori out of a pond? If anything, I should be fishing up Koishis. Man. My joke fell on deaf ears, huh? tried. I'm gonna spice things up. There we go. Come on. I moved- I moved- Locations. How am I supposed to hop? First you do this. Spin around, stop. Double take three times. One, two, three. Now it's time to bring it around town. Bring it around town. Then you do this, and then this, and this, and this, and that, and this, and that, and this, and that, and this, and that, and that. Uh. What if I throw gold teeth at her? If I put a gold coin at the end of the line, maybe I'll catch a Raymu instead. That'd be pretty cool. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Killing me. Jay, you know what I don't like? Is the dots that show up in the uh, the text box are different sizes. Look at it. Look at it and be annoyed. Look at that. Why? Why are they different sizes? Fifteen percent, fifteen percent, fifteen percent, fifteen percent. Yep, that's fifteen percent. Yep, fifteen percent, fifteen percent. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh no, it wasn't. It wasn't fifteen percent. I forgot. Oh, I missed it. But there was actually three zeros in front of it. It's actually about fifteen hundred thousandths of percent. I have a better chance of finding a shiny Pokemon than I do of a fucking Suiko. Watch. Just pull up a shiny. Do it. Do it right now. I'll find a shiny before I find a frog. Ting, sparkle, sparkle. 
50% on seven tiles. Dun 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 dun. I'm just I'm just expecting one of those Hinas to roll into view, and it's gonna be in, in blue clothing. And I just I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. Dun dun dun. I have an idea. All right, watch this. Maybe, maybe the Suwako is afraid. Actually, I just want to get Notori out of the party. <laughs> Here's my superstition. How are you anyway? Watch you be modest. Timid. That's not even terrible. Oh my god, why is that good? I hate that that's good. Oh! No! Wait, Notori is water wind. Isn't that like a really good combination? Wouldn't that be better than frog? But, but amazing frog! <laughs> Maybe I'll just use Notori anyway. If I pull up a Suiko and it sucks, I'm using Notori. You gotta commit now. I might end up using that, just cause she seems better. Hypnotoad. Frog. Frog champ. Froggers. <sighs> Maybe we should have made Suwako's hat do a pog. That would have been a good emote. I don't even know how that would look. No man would know how that would look. Hmm. <clears throat> Here we go. Yeah. Got her. Okay. Is it real? I hit it, it's a ditto. <laughs> Alright, get in my hard orb. What? That wasn't part of the deal. Actually, it looks nicer, the yellow, than the, the gray anyway. It has teleport. Better fucking not! Come on. Two? Three? Uh! Yeah, stay asleep. Stay asleep. I don't want to hit it. 15 levels lower than me. Oh, come on! You're a frog! Don't do it. Bubble. Okay. I'm scared. Because I could use Seismic Toss, but I genuinely don't know how much HP this thing has. It could have less than 30 for all I know, and then I'm fucked. Save states? What do I look like? A wiener? If I fuck this up, we just do it again. Why is she so hard to catch? Now I kind of wish I kept the... Uh, kind of wish I kept the Tori to do some damage to it. Hmm. that much time took that much time to do eight damage save my hard orbs oh, come on
Come on, hit yourself. Hmm. Do it. Life comes at you fast, doesn't it? Ah. Oh. Please. Bro. Gonna run out of shit. that 10% speed drop, but let me not hit you in confusion. <sighs> oh my god. Life is good. It's all it took. That's all it took. <laughs> a native goddess living at the Moria Shrine. She can manipulate the earth. Yeah, frog. Water. Serious nature is, uh, neutral nature. Water veil prevents burns. Hmm. Oh no, water veil is better than, uh... Water veil is probably better than damp, actually. I get level 40. Huh. Okay, hmm. No, we'll use, we'll use a Suiko. The, the, the neutral nature is good. And despite, despite, I guess, well, the Tori is, Tori is a little bit, a little bit better, but neutral nature is the best thing you could probably get if you can't get a specialized nature. Because most of the time, the specialized natures are never in your favor. So a neutral nature is perfectly okay. All right, now we have to beat up a bunch of trainers for the next, I don't even know how long. There are people down here, right? Frog users? I have to exercise and warm up. We're going up for a swim. Keep in mind, Danny. You still have the EXP share. Oh yeah, I do. So Suwako becomes water earth, huh? That would mean she becomes she becomes super weak to native, but she blocks wind, which is good. That's good. Marasa. What type are you again? I have no idea what you are. Flying Illusion. What the fuck is Flying Illusion again? Do I have a move that beats this? Yeah, I have Aeroblast. Alright, you're up, squad. She's Swamper? She's she's basically Swamper. The Swamper was a special, uh, special sweeper, yeah. The squad! Do it again. Bro! You really crit! So much for the squad. Going on the same pass, he has 15 less base special attack, 15 less base speed. Well, I was gonna use, uh, I was gonna use the technical Notori, most likely. Come on, man! I hate Pokemon! Chad, did you know that Shiny Wooper just straight up looks like an Axolotl? Cause I didn't. I only ever seen Shiny Quagsire and was disappointed by it. But Shiny Wooper is actually the, co the color, the, the, the pink color that an axolotl is. Alright, Komachi's here again. 
beast steel. I don't have anything for this thing anymore. Swampert's a really good Gen 3 Mon, so having a Pokemon, sorry, Bonica, that is based on Swampert sounds like a pretty good. Sounds pretty good. Axolotls have the reaction time of a Slowpoke. Yeah, I don't know who decided to spell it like that, but they did. <laughs> they certainly did. Yeah, give me that flinch. Whirlpool? Weird. I'm gonna fly. I wanna fly high! Hmm. Oh, I thought Technatory was the one who was gonna be... Okay, whatever. Whatever. We have, we have Frog now. That's all we need. We all we need is the amazing frog. Of course, now I have to level her up as well as the squad. Oh man. Unbelievable. Probably would have been able to get that kill for them too if I didn't get crit by low kick. My face is itchy and irritable because I don't have a razor. That's strong enough to take off my beard. It sucks. I hate it. I want a fucking haircut. I want a face cut. I watched Vinny play Dreams a couple days ago. And he played a he played a dream where you just you just shave a guy. You shave his face, and I was like, fuck, I wish that was me. That's the weirdest that's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Where I thought, damn, I really wish that was me right now. Parsi is I don't remember. I don't remember what type you are at all. Dark? Bison. Beards. They blow. She's hard. So she's weak to faith. Yeah, I'm smart. If I say that chat is an extension of my memory, then I'll never forget anything ever again. Which in turn means makes me the smartest boy in the world. My mom said she was gonna pick me up one. She'll probably deliver it tomorrow. She's giving us food. Looking forward to that. Froggy time! The chat is full of misinformation. Yeah, my brain likes to lie to me all the time. How is it different? I'll wait. We all have one brain cell, and we collectively share them amongst each other. Flash! Come on! Big chat! How about a brain cell waste? I would like- I would probably put a feature in there, so you can just use a million points. You can use a million points, and that's it. Chip. Nothing else to it. You do that, and that's it. Froggy. Hey, uh, question. Where can I get a lucky egg to speed this hell up? Maybe I'll take this off stream, how painful it is. Parsi. I just fought two Parsis, and I'm here thinking, how do I fight this thing again? Check under the truck for a Shinky. I wanted to! I wanted to, but I couldn't figure out how to on Bees Hawk. Chat has faith. My, th my favorite thing chat does is when I ask a question, and somebody immediately says yes, and then someone immediately says no. It's like, who the fuck do I believe? <laughs> who do I believe? There we go. Nice crit. Didn't matter. Nice. 
yes, no. Sometimes I ask multiple questions in rapid succession and I get an answer for one of them. And I don't know which one it is, so I just have to look at it and realize that I should have asked one question at a time, then waited. <laughs> but I don't do that. <laughs> I don't even know what's happening anymore. There's the bird keepers. We can go fight the bird keepers. And then we can start making our way up uh, the side of Fuchsia. Hmm. Favorite part is what everyone says yes, but one guy says no, and that's the one that gets believed. Yeah. Yeah. One guy. Classic. There we go. Surf. Yeah! Wait, how do you already know four moves? Alright, you just learned Water Gun. Wait, Water Gun's strong? The flower struck with a lot of water expelled forcibly from the mouth. In other words, she spits on you. Isn't it getting late? Ah, well, yeah. But I can stand and go a little bit longer. It's no issue. I, I started late. Sucked. I'm in no rush. I'll get things done. Stay up anyway. I can, I can, cry, I can crank out a few. Mm, let's go fight Koga and we can surf. Aw, oh, Koga's... Koga's po pogies are gonna be level 40. <laughs> uh, Tokiko. Tokiko is a flying-type Pokemon. A flying-type Pokemon is weak to... Wind. Yes. What do I make for the thumbnail? The squad. You make it Suiko and the squad. Easy. Endeavor. You actually played me. Oh. What you got? Toki, go! Why am I using these things? I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna try my best, though. I really am. Hmm. So, Kiko, week two. Steel. Ah. Uh. The Pelipper who had a bunch of mons in its mouth so it could use moves like Ice Beam and Fire Flamethrower. But the difference is that Tori is four birds. All, all of them have one move they can do, and they collectively form whatever that is. Is, that, is, is Tori a meme that I don't understand? I mean, I, I like it. I think it's hilarious. But what the fuck is it? It's just, it's just all the birds together, bundled up. Well, I know it's a kind of bird because Yakitori exists, right? Yakitori. No, not Tori. Tori. Yes. With one eye. There's a very big difference, you know. Mm, Yakitori squid balls. What do you mean squid balls? You mean octopus balls? That's Takoyaki. Takoyaki's good. Tori just means bird. Well then, Yaki Tori, what does that mean? Squid Orb. Endeavor is such an annoying move. How, how many of these do you have? Oh my god! Yakitori means grilled bird. I figured it was something like that because Misty sells Lamprey Eel because she her her goal her goal is to overrun the business and drive out Yakitori stalls. This sucks. Sucker in AC looks like a uh, Yakitori. Yeah, and he's really popular. He's also wearing a sushi chef's outfit. His head looks like food, and that's kind of weird. I think that's kind of weird. People like it, though. 
I like Octavia more. He's cool. He's got a gold bar shirt. Like, imagine living and your head just looks like food that you're used in. I'm gonna beat these trainers and then I think I'll call it. And I'll probably, I'll probably level Subako up a bit off stream just because, well, she's level 15 and she's gonna take fucking forever to level up like this. Hmm. What is Karage though? Ka Karage is double, uh, Karage is double deep fried uh, meat, isn't it? They deep fry the meat and then they deep fry the deep fried meat, right? You're the Versus Seeker now. That's true. I could speed things up with that. That'll help. Assuming they don't get too strong. I want to fight a guy who's easy to beat. Another guy with four Tokikos. I hate him. Kaya. Frog. Flying. Weak to steel. I like how Momiji is, a, is weak to these two. But then when Momiji evolves, Momiji has a move that hurts them. Very bad, yes. Ah, yeah, that is a cursed name. Yeah, it has speed boost, so why wouldn't it? I mean, I have Blade Flash. What is... Chat, how come Poke... Okay. From... From a... On one hand, I understand that fast Pokemon can learn moves like agility. But on the other hand, why in the hell would you ever use it? What's the point? I like Suiko's back sprite a lot because you can see how ridiculously big her sleeves are. She's trying so hard to fit into that. I can't believe they get a level 40 to evolve though. I am speed. Metagross can use it pretty efficiently. Dude, fucking. I'm, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Metagross can learn like every single uh, a speed boosting move. It can learn rock polish, I think. It can learn agility, and it can learn autonomize. And autonomize is basically steel type agility. Agility works well for that Pokemon because it's not fastened by nature. But you know what can learn agility? Ninjask. It just keeps getting faster. Speed boost, ninjask, agility. You could become the quickest thing. Imagine if, imagine if accuracy was dictated by speed. So you just... Kiroko, how do you like my bird call? No. Oh, he's got the real deal. That's level 35! Oh, oh. I don't know what type this is. Well, Intimidate will help, I think. Oh. She's got... She's got red shoes. Flying wind. Oh, she's part wind now. Okay. That makes sense, actually. That makes perfect sense. Cut. You're layering? You're putting traps down? All right. <laughs> She's just getting faster and faster. And she ran into a bullet. What do you mean you have Aero Blast? Oh, I didn't do anything. Never mind. Uh, so we're just handing out Lugia's moves to everyone? Oh, wait. No, it makes perfect sense that she has Aero Blast because Aero Blast is her move on the Tori squad. Which means Air Slash is, uh, Air Slash belongs to one of the other ones. Chat, whose move is who? Mana Burst is probably Hatate's. Aero Blast is Aya's. Air Slash is Mistia's. And Blast Burn is obviously Utsos. There we go. We, we solved the, we solved the, uh, we solved the puzzle. Wind God Girl. I, she is really strong. She's an incredibly strong character. She just doesn't take anything seriously. It's more interested in her own articles. I wonder what Aya would be like if she was serious. Alright, that's good. About two and a half hours, that's nice. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna level these two up to match these levels. I'm not gonna power grind, but I am gonna get Subako up to speed so I could actually use her. So we'll stop here. Hmm.
save the bit save the video game. Hold on, let me hit the let me hit the save state button. I mean, you didn't hear that from me. You can't see that chat. Close your eyes. That's it for that though. It's pretty good. So, of course, as you can expect, tomorrow will be soccer. And then busy person. Look forward to it. As a reflection, it was fun. I'm looking forward to playing more of that as well. But yeah, that's it. Good night. Sorry to keep you guys so long. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.